the rising lakes phenomenon continues to cause a scare in the North Rift region with Lake Nakuru not being spared. The main gate to Lake Nakuru National Park is on the verge of being swallowed up completely, a move that has prompted the relocation of the main entrance to higher grounds. This is the first time we've had to move uh, the main gate. We want to do a gate on the northeastern side of the park. But uh, the other two gates, that is uh, the Rich Gate and the Lanet Gate, are accessible. The part of the park that has been affected by these waters is less than 5% uh, of the park. But uh, what we've spent on so much is on the roads. We've had to move the roads severally over the years. And we've spent quite some substantial amounts of money. Senior warden Colin Suchieng says the Kenya Wildlife Services has never experienced the rising of lakes before with the situation changing at beginning of this year. The water is still rising but the Kenya Wildlife Service KWS is determined not to allow this occurrence coupled with the COVID-19 pandemic cripple operations at the park as they plan out on rolling out new activities in the park. We have decided to do other products, introduce other products that uh, are suitable with water. So in the next few weeks, you should be seeing uh, Lake Nakuru rolling out new products that uh, will uh, attract the visitors back to Lake Nakuru. The rising lakes have caused human and wildlife conflict as water from the lakes continues to spill over into human settlements, disrupting their day-to-day -day operations. It has also gone into community lands thereby bringing some uh, human wildlife conflict. You see a hippopotamus and a snake do not know the boundaries of the park. Now that the water has gone to community land, you'll find these animals trespassing into community areas. We also educated the communities on uh, the importance of uh, securing and uh, living harmoniously with the park management and uh, we're working together to ensure that uh, such friction between man and uh, wildlife does not happen. At the moment, circuiting of the park from within as the norm has been impossible as most sections of the internal road network have been flooded.